Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and it's time for a little World of Dragons. And I'm hanging out here at the, the corner area I built, and I got some feedback on it. Uh, Linda was saying to go ahead and use some of these uh, dark oak slabs as a contrast, because, you know, I, I was complaining about it. it was just way too much stone. And, uh, and she... I love that idea. Uh, you can see I've got some of that little trim going around here and it just makes this pop. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, when I build the walls, I'm going to use that little trim piece to just give it a nice little look. And uh, if we take a quick look at the, the map, I've gone up here, I filled up this corner and built uh, another one of these uh, corner pieces, did another one of these corner pieces. I haven't done anything down here. <laughs> That's a lot of work, but I'll get to that. Because when I build a wall like this, I don't necessarily know it's something this long. It's, you know, is this odd or even? I don't know. But I'll, I'll build the ends and then I'll build together the, the wall segments that I have until I get to the middle. And I'm guessing uh, it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be uh, an. No, actually, that right there. This is maybe odd, but in any case, uh, I'll build together until I get fairly close to the center, at which point I'll design up some sort of center gateway, which is gonna look weird with the water. I'll have to do some work with that. Anyway, uh, do I wanna do that right now? Nope, <laughs> I don't. I I am done with building walls for a bit. Uh, I've got uh, those chests full of stone and wood and all sorts of uh, building materials for building the walls and i added some more over there because i was thinking oh, i should do that side but uh, i'm not gonna do it not gonna do it nope instead what i want to do is i want to head over back to town and actually build something destructive all right let's head over to town and yep oh yeah that's a pretty good jump Okay, so the, the thing I wanted to do was something a little destructive. Uh, some of the zombies have uh, dropped off these guns, and they're, they're kind of interesting. If I left click, it will spit out a bullet, and it's a stone bullet. If we take a look in here, I made some of these ammo, and it's just three cobblestone and a gunpowder. Oh, hey. Hello, Mr. Target. Let's go ahead and reload this. Can I shoot him from here? Oh, yeah. Are you going to run away? Uh, third time's a charm. Oh yeah. Did you drop anything? Not a thing. So that's pretty wimpy. And if we look at it, it's doing five to eight damage, which is kind of, eh, <laughs> not, not all that impressive. So instead I was thinking of making this the mini gun, which again does three to five damage, but it's a machine gun that goes really fast and it needs these drums of lots and lots of bullets. So I'm thinking that's what I want to make. Hey, Frank. And so this, let's go ahead and just dump this off into some chest here. Just get it out of my way. I don't need you. Uh, anyway, uh, you can say it's, it's autumn. Oh yeah, I need to plant 56 uh, pumpkins and it didn't want the, the individual uh, initial seedlings it needed the fully grown so I think they've all grown up and I can turn that quest in but I'll do that later uh, no so I wanted to go ahead and make this mini gun well that's pretty simple make all these bits but it also needs a drum of ammo well I can do that and I can make those the mini drum ammo needs steel which I can do mechanical parts uh, that needs a machine press which I can do plastic Plastic is something I don't have any of. That needs raw plastic, which needs crude oil or, yeah, it's all just crude oil is, is what I, I need. Um, and I need some raw rubber. Well, the, the rubber I can pull out of the, the chemical labor laboratory with uh, any sort of wood. So that's not a problem. Uh, I just need some water and that's not too bad to, to make this. Yeah. In fact, uh, I think I've got the bits right here. So this will give me four wires, and this will give me the mechanical part in the center. That goes there, that goes there, that's that central engine, and I'll be making more of those. And now I've got the chemical laboratory. Well, I, I can make the, the plastic and rubbers and, and whatnot to get that going. However, 
this going back to here to combine the raw rubber with the crude oil gives me the plastic i need oil i need oil from immersive petroleum well for that i need a pump jack which the projector here will tell me how to do but to find out where that oil is hiding i need a core sample drill which needs more uh, various uh, you know crafting bits of immersive engineering and steel now steel's not hard I went ahead and, and made some steel because I've got the uh, immersive um, no induction smelter <laughs> so I can I can do that and let's go ahead and make some uh, scaffolding uh, looks like I just need the one oh hey let's steal some of these guys and because I need to make some steel fences and then I need two three of these now i gotta look at the, the stuff i need uh oh yeah because i need one two one two one two one two with the one left over okay so that and that because i need these light engineering blocks i need some iron and copper do i have iron and copper up here i've got iron one two three four i need to grab copper from down below well let's go down below Zoom as it turns night but i don't care oh i made a coke oven and a, a portable tank from thermal expansion so i could sit there and hold a lot of stuff there uh, let's go copper 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 one two three of those coppers all right and if if you don't have the coal coke you can still use the induction smelter to make steel if you grind up four coal which is you know that starts getting expensive all right so i need this nope i need that over here you three there you 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 and you that gives me a light engineering block so you and you you go there and you go there and that gives me the core sample drill from immersive engineering cool i just noticed all the tinker stuff <laughs> way over there because they're all connected by crafting stations i can access all of them from here i you know i, I build a, a nice concrete clump there so it's nice and condensed i hadn't realized i could go that far okay you learn something new every day which is pretty cool all right let's grab one of those because i need to power this up and i think that's full it's completely empty <laughs> of course it is well let's go charge it up from downstairs because we have lots of power kicking around and we can do that Zoomp. and uh you know why i'm here let's break that and do i have a hammer what happened to my engineering hammer do i have one in here that's my engineering stuff i am constantly losing my thingies okay so let's take the chemical laboratory and we'll put it there i'm hoping it will take power from the back because that's kind of the way i've got it set up here and we'll just toss that in here for now oh extra plate extra scaffold all right let's i think i have my engineering hammer out here someplace did i leave it in any of these nope in here nope nope all right where is it there we go there's my engineering hammer so uh i need to take this one and let's make let's make you the power out and you the power in that works always something when you try to plan things up something always happens it flummoxes things i could have sworn those were charged up okay so you need to be power out and we'll put the thing right there chug, 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 chug. so that will go ahead and give me the power i need because this should be nice and portable because unfortunately not every chunk has the the resources i need so i'm gonna have to take this core sample driller and i'm gonna have to move it from chunk to chunk to chunk and until i find one that says i've got petroleum so i'll do it once and hopefully we'll we'll find something within my area i don't want to go out <laughs> too far because that would not be fun uh so okay, let's turn on chunks all right this is my first time using the core sample drill uh, let's plop that down here 
Cool. It's that that tells me it's got power from all sides, and I think I said it was going to go from the front. Cool. Now it's got power. It says it's currently not harvestable. Well, that's okay. Now's Oh, it's showing the chunk. There's that those gray bars you can kind of see around. It's actually showing me the chunk that it's in. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, why is it not doing anything? Oh, you right click it. <laughs> Our power is going down. So, all right. It is chewing that up. I wonder how long are you going to... Wow, that was fast. Okay, that was very fast. Okay, so we've got a core sample. Um, there's a gold vein. Crude oil, right there. Uh, looks like about 8,000 buckets worth of crude oil and like 38,000 things of gold. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, these I can put on the ground. No, I can't click that. Can I put these on the ground? Where would I put this? Let's put it. Okay, I crouch click and it'll stay on, um, the ground so that tells me there is wow okay so the very first chunk i tried gave me petroleum uh that is very serendipitous oh let's try it another time let's come over here let's plop that down let's plop that down it's got power up oh, it looks like it lost the power when i broke it it didn't keep the power well that's kind of a pain in the butt all right but that's way faster i was thinking it was going to take something like 10 minutes or something uh, right click not a blessed thing <laughs> okay so uh i definitely won out by that chunk okay i'm gonna leave this crap here uh that means i need to make me a pump i need to make a pump uh that means let's see grab my oh that's downstairs let's go downstairs i lied no, let's not go downstairs. I made all the stuff I need for a pump here. Now, if you have your engineers, there's my hammer, because <laughs> I had looted two of them, and you, one I used to make plates, and this one hadn't been. Okay, <laughs> we'll swap that out with a nice looking one. Okay, let's grab all these bits. So if you look in the engineer's manual, and this is something that I found out recently, was that if you see the blue tab with the little thing, you can actually search which I thought it was very cool. So pump jack, and I love Clippy. <laughs> so pump jack, so this tells me what all it needs. And this, I've got check marks for all the bits. So I have uh, pre-made all the things I need. Now, if you have it on that page and you put your projector in the crafting, it will give you a projector here. Um, Alright, I'm going to turn on the chunks because I want it to stay in the chunk. Uh, this is where I need to remember how to rotate this. That's right, it's it's the pick block key is to rotate. I think I will put it here. Yeah. Okay, so that will work there. So this tells me what all needs to go. So this is a light engineering block. Oh, and it highlights it too. Uh, none of those. I don't... Oh. I've got to have that in my inventory. Let's move all these things out of the way. Oh, cool. I've got them all here. So scaffolding. There's lots and lots of scaffolding here. Scaffold, 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 scaffold. Scaffold. Uh, scaffold, scaffold. And then the pumps. Pump, 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 pump. Oh, and it takes me up to the next layer. Very cool. So the treated planks. Uh, that's a light engineering there's the redstone engineering and here's a dark or not heavy <laughs> not a dark and we need some more of these planks that are fences oh i need something there i need a block okay let's there was a piece of dirt yep there was a piece of dirt i stole from there to put the crate in place so let's put that there this is a block of steel of that because we don't need it and there's another steel on top there we go and then this needs to be the sheet metals one two three and four and then these are the final two fences cool okay so this is the first pump jack i've made and i need to smack this with the engineering hammer 
because you know that's how all things are made is, is you just you know percussive maintenance you just smack it with a hammer let's try that nope that right click right click right click all right let's read the book <laughs> because i'm not finding oh hammer head nope all right let's read the book book says blah, 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 blah. heavy engineering block on the second layer i hit sh did i not hit that oh that one but it looks like i had to hit it from this side okay so that is there uh let's take the projector off because that's ugly looking all right so now this i th one of these is going to be the ends there's the redstone signal for turning it on and off uh power 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 that's probably outputs do you have a i do not see any sort of output read uh lots of flux produce through the two side ports with orange dots so it's automatically spotted out there redstone signal uh where do you get the power oh power's up on top of there Alrighty, well, I can do that. What happened to my... Oh, I left it over here. I did, I did. Break that. Toss that up there. And hit it with the hammer so it outputs to the bottom. And it's got some power, but it doesn't have great galloping gobs. That's okay for, for the nonce. Uh, before I power that on, let's actually... I don't know... Well, let's give it a try. Plop. There we go. <laughs> that's not very much power at all. Uh, so, but uh, that's that's gonna. Uh, all I really need it is, I think, two buckets worth. So that's not much at all. However, I do need something to hold it into, and so let's make another one of those uh, tanks, portable tanks from Thermal Foundation. So I need two of you, and I think a bunch of you, and one of you. All right. Let's see if I how well I can remember this. I need that, and then that. Oh, I needed three of you. Let's get rid of you guys, and one of you. Did I remember it? I did not. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take a look at portable tank. There you are. Oh, it's the other way around. More glass. I had the right bits, but I had the wrong. There we go. Now I got a tank. So this should automatically export what I need. Actually, I'm going to steal this guy because he's got lots more power. He's a an HV con capacitor. And let's move this over here. And if it has an internal storage, are you done? Yeah, it's out of power. Oh, it didn't give me anything there. I wonder if I'm not sure if this will accept that as a. Uh, ooh, that came from the side. Okay, it doesn't have to be on the top. It accepts that entire block. Ooh, but I see fluid in there. So I think I wasted all the power from my LV capacitor but that's okay I've got pretty good solar that's working so as soon as I get two buckets worth I can make the bits oh sure now it shows that it's full I upgraded it to the next tier so it'd have more oil in it and it didn't show it had that little tiny skiff at the bottom and that's all it showed and I made a water tank so I could get some water over there that didn't show anything and I tried logging out, logging back in. That didn't make any difference. And I came back here. I broke it, put that here. Now you can see it's got all the water in it. Went upstairs and now the oil shows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we've got the chemical laboratory here and it needs water. And I'm going to go ahead and put in eight of these. And let's go ahead and hit it with more water. Uh, yep, yep, you can just, yep, you can just hit it like that. Uh, One, two, three. Yeah, let's check and see how it's doing. Uh, okay, yeah, so it's still processing those. Okay, so 
it still needs the can I put nope doesn't look like I can put them in there but I can click with it and that that's just fine all right one more and that should give me all of the the the, the stuff I need so raw rubbers okay so that uh, should work there and seven Burble, 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 done, eight. All right, now those need to go in here, oh, plus oil, and I believe it's also a one-to-one. -one. Let's uh, hit it with just one and take a quick look. Burble, 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 ding. Oh, I need 500 millibuckets instead of, okay, so I only needed um, four of these because I, I decided I would make several and uh, one more there that should uh, be enough to make uh, eight of these two yep 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 all right so now uh let's look back again here this plastic cheese i just need to cook those all right we'll start the cooking process over here cook 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 last one last one oh second to last one there's the last one already. And the plastic should be showing up here. All right. So, and the last one, these uh, ducks underneath are fairly slow, but that's okay. I, I, I don't need it to be super duper fast. So looking back at this, uh, plastic sheets and I've got steel. I'm gonna need some more steel. In fact, I'm gonna need a lot more steel because I was making two batches of these. Um, actually, yes, because here's what I noticed that makes four and I need one of them in here. And I figured why not make eight at the cost of two? Yeah, why not? So, uh, if we're looking back at this, there's that centerpiece mechanical parts hardened. I need a obsidian steel plate plus nether quartz in a metal press. The plate again in the metal press, two obsidian steel ingots. We'll do that and the obsidian steel metal press steel and obsidian Alrighty, so hey look metal press right there <laughs> let's go ahead and toss that there and one two and i need some obsidian let's go ahead and grab all the obsidian i got wrong thing now one two that should give me uh two of the obsidian ingots and while I'm looking at it, I'm going to need lots more steel. Actually, just sort everything. Why that? Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more steel. And unfortunately, I don't have any of the the, the good. Um, oh, that needs to be ground up. All right. We'll put the iron in there. I get, I'll, I'll do the uh, four coal method. So there's the two... Do you not have? You do not extract. Huh. Okay. Uh, redstone ignored. Mm, okay. What do you need on? No. Doesn't extract. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put those two there. Hello, Roxy. What are you looking? Oh, there's a bug on the wall. It's one of those stink bugs. And uh, yeah, she definitely is interested in that. But nope, no stink bugs for you because she doesn't eat them she just kind of knocks them around for a bit I need some quartz and let's put that in there boom boom and that will give me that funky oh I need two of those yeah boink, boink. all right so one of these mechanical parts in there that gives me four drums cool let's get one more There we go. Now, one of these, let's take the plastic out. One of these drums needs to go there. And yeah, the plastic can go in there. Uh, the other stuff that I need, uh, one is not going to be used at all, but the others are going to go in here. In, oh, I've got room for eight. I thought I only had room for six. Ooh, I wonder if when these are full, if these will stack. Ooh, I might make more if they stack. 
Anyway, so uh, to fill these guys up, I need rifle rounds, and I made rifle rounds, and that goes into an ammo press, and it's iron or bronze or cheap copper. Lead or steel, well, <laughs> I'm going to go with the uh, very cheap lead. Thank you very much. Ammo press. Let's go ahead and slap that there. And I'm going to go you and you and pistol rounds, not shotgun rounds, rifle rounds. And oh, only two gunpowder? I need far more gunpowder than that. Lots more gunpowder. I think I need another six. I'm definitely going to need more because I want to fill up all of those. Go ahead and grab the whole stack. Why not? And then uh, that should let me fill up a lot of drums. Now, unfortunately, I am very low on steel because I need to toss some more in here. Let's, I don't have a full, let's do 32 like that. And we'll start that a processing. That should fill this up. But that's not going to be there in time enough. Uh, but I do want the that to start making me steel. And then the, the rest of these I can toss in here. Hey, <laughs> put them in my inventory and then I can toss them up here. All right. So this needs a bunch more uh, gunpowder. And this also doesn't get sucked out. Interesting. Okay, well, then that's just the way it is. Now these got 32 of them if I go like this that gives me the big stack and if I put these here and I think it doesn't matter yeah it's shapeless so now I have they do stack oh yes very very nice okay I may make a bunch more of these just because uh, you know I'm, I'm guessing these are gonna get shot through very fast and I'm probably gonna want a lot oh hey you can see it making oh that's kind of cool all right, so uh, one set more. Gadonk. Okay. It doesn't know how to count. Doop. All right, so now those should fill up. Ah, come on. Nope, 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 nope. I want to spread grid like that. Yeah, <laughs> inventory management for the win. Okay, that is very nice having all those. Let's stick them, wrong key. Uh, let's put that here, stick that there. Oh, that's very nice. Now, uh, so we've got the ammo, we got this, um, and to make the empty one of these, we need another electric engine, which I've got here. Let's actually pull this a little bit closer. Uh, electric engine go the drum goes there electric engine goes there and now I need um, the hardened barrels now that needs 36 of these obsidian steel ingots and you can see I only have nine here how much more has been produced Ooh, I'm getting very close let's toss the rest of those in there that may give me all that I need uh, let's take a look at the pistol here. Roxy, you are right in the way. That's another five plus the mechanical parts made out of carbon. That's new. Blaze rod. Well, I haven't opened up the nether, so that's a problem. Carbon plates. Uh, this is the tech reborn method uh, with a compressor. I don't have a compressor making all these carbon bits, uh, but I saw something else. This tech guns. Okay, that's, I get two of these carbon, that gives me the two that I need. Do I need two? No, I only need one. But anyway, uh, carbon fibers, and I can make those with lava, diamond, and blaze powder. Well, I need some blaze stuff anyway. Well, let's go out here. And it's nighttime. Uh, let's go out here, because there is a way of making blaze powders and whatnot. Uh, a bit measure from vanilla food pantry lava bucket and some sand gives you a bit of sand lava sand and that gives me 16 of these and now i've got eight blaze rods isn't that really cool yes that is fantastically cool let's put that away in there i made that before but i only used two uh, blaze rods 
so now I'm trying to figure out what happened to the other six. I have no idea what happened to the other six. Not a friggin' clue. So, oh well. Uh, that gives me the 36 I need here. So I need one, two, three. Let me see, metal press that and that. So that's gonna make 36 for these hardened barrels. Now I'm gonna need a few more because this one needs one, two, three, four, five more. I'm short. <laughs> of course I am. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two more of you. Yes, of course I'm short. But fortunately we can make that. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. I don't even have to care about the... Uh, perfect. All right. So <laughs> that will go much faster than grinding them up. Anyway, this, we've got seven here. Let's go to... Well, that's got another drum. Come here, drum. Uh, let's make you and you. That gives me one hardened barrel. Oh, so long. All right, I'm going to cut because that's going to take me forever to get all these barrels. Well, I figure I might as well use up the plastic and, you know, get some more drums because yeehaw, why not? And I miscounted the, the, the ammo, but that's okay. I can use that some more. And now I've got 15 of these drums. Oh yeah, that makes me feel happy. I still am thinking it's gonna go through really fast. And what happened to, oh, here it is. Here's my fourth one. I knew I had made a, the, the, the last one, the sixth one. And now I need the gun part. And unfortunately, there's that leftover slab there. Well, let's get rid of that. Don't need you right now. That's where the blaze rods were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I need to make the, uh, the mesh thing. So I need the carbon fibers, and that's blaze powder and lava. So that goes in here, you and you and lava. I happen to have a bucket of lava on me, serendipitously. And I made me a lot of buckets because I keep losing the buckets. You saw how fast I was losing the other stuff too, so... All right, let's put those there. That will go ahead and make the, the mesh for me, which I'm not gonna need more than one, but that's okay. And uh, let's see, what was this? Um, that needs to go in the metal press. All right, let's grab that. You can go in there, you can go in there, and let's do these. Ooh, it doesn't matter the order. At least I'm hoping it doesn't matter the order. <laughs> there we go, mechanical parts. So that goes over here. Unfortunately, it made two of them and I only needed one, but that's okay. There's my hardened receiver. I could make one of those guns too for fun, but minigun. Dun, dun, dun. Now I've got a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right, now it, it has nothing in it, but you, you right, uh, left click. And that should, there it goes, it fed that back in and reloaded it. That may be really slow, but let's go kill something. Let's go kill something. Ooh, I see a guy. I see another volunteer Frank out there in the direction. Where is he? There he is. Hello, Frank. Would you like to be part of a experiment? All right. Would you like to not move? Holy cow. That went really fast, but I'm not hearing. Oh, my niece unplugged my uh, headphone, so of course I'm not hearing the, the, the game noise in my headset, but it should be recording. Holy cow, that went really, really fast. Ooh, Fortune 3 and so, okay, I'm keeping that one. That, that is not going, going away. Now, if I've got that much damage, Let's do something really stupid. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna drop off some of these things that I don't need. Actually, I don't need any of, yeah, I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of this. And if I take a look, I, I wanna keep my armor. Uh, food will automatically get uh, fed me in these three slots, which is very nice. Let's go kill us a dragon. All right, let's run this direction. And we look at the map. There should be some dragons over here. This one I cleaned out and I raided this one. 
but I didn't have enough room for the gold, but I took the, the chests because I didn't see the, the dragon there. So let's go uh, head that way. Oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, yes. All right. Now, having done this in um, creative, I checked out these dragons. Oh, wow, that's loud. I've checked out the dragons, and they are ooh, ooh, 2,000 hit points, which is a lot of hit points. Do not come bite me, bro. What hit points you have right now? Oops. Oh crap, he's within biting range. Leave me alone, you. Oh! <laughs> he's not shooting fire breath at me, I figured he would. Wow, that is loud. Uh, he's showing as unknown. That is so loud. Uh, sound, 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 sound. Let's crank that down a whole bunch. Oh, no, that's better, but dang, that's loud. Yay, that killed him. Okay. <laughs> now, what can I do with you? Uh, do you have anything I can right click? Uh, oh, I just, I've been right clicking him with an empty hand. All right, get all that stuff out of here. Oh, cool. Okay, so a uh, dragon skull, some bones, a heart. We got some flesh and some scales. Ooh, I can make armor out of this. Although he didn't even tap me once, which I think is kind of cheaty to, <laughs> to sit there and kill him uh, with the, the tree like that. But um, I'm, I'm not gonna complain too much. <laughs> Oh, and the night setting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up before uh, the night gets too <laughs> too too dark. That's a really kicking gun. Plus a tree. <laughs> Get your dragon behind a tree. <laughs> Holy cow, that worked out really well. Okay, so that that's my first uh, dragon fight. And I'm going to have to see... I, I, mean, I probably have enough to, to make a, a few more. Um, rounds of uh, ammunition because uh, I want to sit there and fill up my uh, my uh, gun, uh, slowly working my way back to base in the night. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Guns to shoot the stinking dragons because I've been very very careful about uh, doing anything with them uh, because they you know two thousand hit points I saw in creative as I flew over there. I went, what are you? That's pretty fun and that's a kicking gun. And I like it. Alrighty. Let's not fall in. Nope. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Oh, loud is all get out, but loads of fun. Okay, I'll stop by shooting at you. Can I put this on? No, I already have this. Can I put it on? Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, I've got, I killed my first dragon, which is really, really good. And I'm going to have to run back to base before it gets uh, too full of uh, baddies around here. But I got a gun. I got a really kicking gun. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer having too much fun with my gun here on World of Dragons and haven't killed one. And thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>